guys remember a while back where I showed, you know, it was a, uh, yeah, showed Naruto 7 Hokage game in the forums. But this time it's real, and let's get into it. What's that about? It's your boy Pain, because everybody shall no Pain. You guys already know. I'm over here on uh, undatabase.weebly.com. Link in the description. The 7 Hokage Naruto has been released. Now we're back to single ninjas. Uh, you have, well, you can see the animation of the skill right there. He summons multiple Russian shurikens to throw it at his opponent. And then he's basic, just runs up and hits them. He's an assaulter. Um, growth rate 1700, 17.0, 14,000, 15.0, 14, well, dang, agility 14,000, 15.0, chakra 14,000, 15.0, power 200,000, 19.0. Now for the talent, uh, Shirobi Nature. The name, the translation name, uh, it's either again, I think it might be a placeholder name, or it might be, you know, the actual translation. But um, you have increased massive agility and force by percentage. Naturally, has 55% speed, 45% damage rate, and 45% void injury rate. When Ninja is in battle, decrease decrease entire enemy's attack by 25%. Increase entire ally speed by 50% and increase ally support. Oh, ally assaulters and support HP by 40%. Self ignores 30% uh, enemies 30% crowd control rate on death. Activate broken sky strike damage entire enemies team by 200% damage immune to blind and ignore super flash status. Now, right there, I like the town a lot. Um, you know, you bring back the decrease enemies attack by 25 being a world by the percentage and then increasing your whole team speed, which, um, I think, uh, with Minotone, uh, Minotone Kushina, they decrease enemy speed and I think they increase your own attack. So it's kind of flip flopping with that. And then the, um, HP for both support and soldiers. I love that 40%. It's really nice. The self, the self ignore 30% crowd control. Most crowd controls now, oh, they still range from 60% to 70% even after buff. So I mean, self ignore, you know, self ignore that's crowd control. That's that's bringing it down. If it's 30, if you know, it's bringing it down to between 30 to um, four, um 30 to 40%. It's kind of crazy, you know, what I'm saying to where you know they wouldn't get hit, you know, with most of those um crowd controls. And then when he dies, just like with God does. Hitting on um, the entire team for some extra damage and then immune to blind and the ignore super flash. Now he only really, so only really has one immunity. Super flash is what most assaulters have, along with the vanguard. So right there, um, it's a drawback with the you know with its um immune, with it's a drawback. But I think the self ignore um crowd control rate helps out a little bit. So then you know you know they're guarant that he's guaranteed to be immune to one CC. But then he lowers the chance of getting hit by other CCs. So it's, it's a drawback. But yeah it's, yeah, it's a double edged sword. So overall, um, it you know, most talents work both PvP and PvE. Um, more PvE as always. PvP, well, yeah, it's, I say on a scale of 1 to 10 with PvE, uh, it's, you know, it's up there, um, say 9. Better yet, you can go with 10. But for PvP, no, 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 flip, flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop. Uh, PvP, I say it's a ten. But PvE is it nine? It's a uh, nine. Because that crowd control, you know, uh, most crowd, well, most people, most actually, I think the PvE uh, that we, what we all do, um, they don't have CCs, so it doesn't, you know, that doesn't apply there. But everything else does. Now for the skill, Kuruma, attack all enemies with three hundred percent growth rate. With a 6% chance to silence or petrify enemies' team for two turns. Increase allies' teams of war injury rate and damage rate by 20% for two rounds. Decrease entire enemies' strategy and physical defense by 30%. And avoid injury by 30% for 22 rounds. Self enter self uh, super flash stat status for one round. Recovers 50 fury for the caster and 30 fury for allies. Now, Kind of basic, 300% growth rate. You know they haven't really increased it without buffs. 60% uh, chance with the silence and petrify. 
um, you know, determining, you know, who all, you know, because most ninjas, you know, they're, it's like in a sense they're not immune to those two things now because you got a lot of new, well, the thing is, ninja, even newer ninjas have older CC, they don't have newer ones. So it's, it's a mix and match type of thing, you know what I'm saying? If you use them, it's kind of like who you want to pair up. So you, you put in your mind, you know, you kind of think to yourself, okay, if I go up against this particular team, they're not immune to, you know, what, Nar you know, Seven Hokage Naruto wants to do. Um, then the increased allies teams avoid injury rate and damage rate 20%. Yeah, that's pretty good. You know, you make your team bulkier and hit harder, you know, different from attack. But for some reason, well, I know the damage rate, I think, will help out the um, supports a lot more. Just because, I mean, hey, if, you know, you guys see, you know, when I, you know, um, when you put damage rate on your supporters, they gain more BP than, than assaulters. So, you know, that's best for They're both good. Then the uh, decreased enemies, both their defenses, strategy, and physical, also good. Just so, um, you know, your supports can hit them harder next round. Super Flash, I mean, again, um, you know, most, well, all, well, most vanguards, and most, well, most new vanguards, and some old vanguards, along with assaulters, ignores that. But if you go up against another Naruto, then they still ignore it. You know what I'm saying? So another seven, so a seven Hokage Naruto is going to be against a seven Hokage, seven Hokage Naruto will hit each other because they both in their talent ignore Super Flash, and in the theory, basic fifty thirty. So overall, um, when I look at this ninja, um, the speed is crazy fifty percent. Um, it makes me um, consider pick, actually picking him up, and if I do, it's one of the things where it's like you know, because again, I really want a cleanser. You know, to replace um, Saratobi, but if I have to replace Saratobi, um, you know, I find somebody. So then, you know, I you know, have a little mixture of certain things, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Saratobi does have a CC, but he still has a DOT. But again, I'll keep him for PvE, you know what I'm saying? Uh, picking up Naruto and not, not well, Saban Kage Naruto, definitely, you know, PvP. You know, more, all these ninjas are going to be for PvP, but you, it's not like you can't use them for PvE. You just have to kind of pair them up with other ninjas and stuff. But overall, I like them, you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of different um, buffs that would be very helpful for, 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 um, for both PvE and PvP. Skill wise, PvP, PvE, you know, a little here and there, but again, you know, certain ninjas, you know, work better when you pair them with someone else. You know what I'm saying? Just so they over, so it makes a good continuity team. But overall, by himself, he's not bad. Not bad at all. I might pick him up, you never know. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. Deuces.